And you wonder what's going to happen with your job yeah. at the club. Yeah. Grant's a bouncer, by the way. All right, hey guys, it is a Saturday afternoon. It is a really, really gloomy day outside and we've just been at home. I've been editing a video, Grant's outside working in the yard right now. Um, this weekend is a weird weekend. I feel like it's a weird weekend for like the entire world right now, just because of everything that's going on. Our plan this weekend was to go to Scottsdale, Arizona. We were supposed to leave yesterday morning and then stay through Sunday night. Uh, it was just recently Grant's grandmother's 90th birthday, which is a huge moment. We love her. Like, I love Grant's grandmother. She is the sweetest lady. She is so fun to be around. And we didn't get to see her over New Year's like we usually do, which was really, really sad. And so we were really looking forward to this trip. But with everything going on, I think it was like Wednesday, we talked to Grant's mom, which we were meeting her and Grant's brother in Arizona. Um, and we just decided it's better to just postpone the trip with everything going on. It's just like, I'm just in the camp that's like better safe than sorry. I would rather be overly safe and maybe like look back on this vlog and think like, oh my gosh, you were like being so over the top. Like, why did you cancel your trip or whatever, whatever. But like, I'd rather be on the safe side, especially when it comes to like, you know, what if we pick something up at the airport and then we brought it to Grant's mom and grandmother, like, that would not be worth it. I'd rather just postpone the trip and go when we feel like it's really safe. And she's been in the hospital and just a lot has gone on and we really, really wanna see her and it really is so sad to postpone this trip. So I don't know, it's just a lot going on really for everyone I know. Um, and it seems like just looking at social media really, like there's like two camps. like. People that are kind of thinking like me, that it's like better safe than sorry. Like just try to stay home. Don't gather in big groups. Like we had tickets to go to a show to see Orville Peck. I, we bought these tickets like a long, long time ago before we set in stone this trip to Scottsdale. So I think the show was supposed to be tonight. That got canceled. But even before that, we were kind of thinking we better not go anyway. Um, it's just everyone's canceling everything. And I feel like that's a really good idea to just be safe. But there are some people that are like, why is this happening? Like, this is all overblown and overhyped. Like, this is the flu. Like, people go through that all the time and nobody cares. And like, I don't know, like, how can you see everything that is changing and all of these like really serious precautions that are going on, like shutting down travel? How can you see that and be like, oh, this is just like news hype. That's just like, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't understand it. And I don't want to argue with anybody. Everyone has their right to their own opinion, but ultimately I just feel that it's better safe than sorry. And yes, me and Grant could totally get through it if we got sick. I don't feel like we are in those like high risk categories and we would be fine. But ultimately I don't want to get it and either like not show symptoms and not know that I have it and spread it to somebody else that it will affect really, really negatively. Like ultimately, that is, I think, the thing that some people are missing. <laughs> this is probably like old news totally at this point when this vlog is coming out, so I should probably just stop. But what I'm trying to say is we don't really have any plans for this weekend. We are just trying to stay home, do stuff around the house, and we have plenty to do around here. Like you guys know, I've been on a quest to like organize everything in the house since we moved in, and there's still so much to do. In fact, we still have boxes. So that is my goal for this weekend i want to attack this house i want to have everything done on the lower level because there's still stuff upstairs in grant's office and in the living room upstairs which we don't really know what to call that room like do you have a room like that in your house like we have this living room down here but then there's like a little living room upstairs with a couch and a tv and everything i'm pretty sure you've seen it like we don't know what to call that room <laughs> that is such a dumb problem to have but that's what's going on. My arm is getting so tired. I feel like I've been rambling forever. I'm so sorry, but I just have a lot of thoughts and feelings. And honestly, I don't really want to like put it out on social media because I don't want to like, you know, argue with people obviously. And I don't want to add to like the panic that's going on. I don't know. I just want everyone to be safe and be happy and take care of themselves, their families, the people around them. And it's just, I, I just think in this situation, it's better safe than sorry because we've seen what can happen in other places around the world and it can go really bad really fast. And obviously you don't want that to happen here or wherever you live, you know what I mean? And I just, 
I just want everybody to be okay, you know what I mean? Don't panic. Just be cautious and be smart and stay home. Ultimately, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, I really need to stop rambling. I've got a lot of work to do. Let me show you what I'm gonna work on first. This is the dining room. We have a lot of boxes. We have some boxes that are just like orders that we've ordered that for some reason, this has become like a box area. Like since we have some unpacked boxes, for some reason, order boxes and curtain boxes and stuff like that, it's become acceptable for them to just live right there, which obviously it's not. So I'm gonna clear out these boxes. Um, I don't know, this whole curtain workstation from last weekend definitely needs to be fixed. I can show you guys our curtains and tell you more about what happened with the curtains from last weekend. Like, I am so sorry for that curtain vlog. That was absolutely ridiculous. When I was editing that, I started to realize like, girl, what are you doing to these people? <laughs> like that was way too much curtains and I felt so stupid. Ultimately, I will say in the future, unless it is a much smaller curtain project, we are probably not gonna do it ourselves. I mean, we learned a lot. I feel like we could do it, but it, it was not worth like spending that many hours on it. And it was absolutely ridiculous and I'm sorry about that vlog, but I will give you an update because more things have happened. But for now, let's look at this. Okay, so this is a box that curtains came in. Yes, we got more curtains. This is an ASOS box that needs to get out of the way because it has my address on it. Another order here, a box with uh, donate stuff and then a bunch of stuff from the old house that we never unpacked and then just chaos I need to remedy. Okay, so Grant just came in here like a tornado saying he was sick of being outside and I wanted to show you, this is the other room that I'm really focused on working on this weekend. It's the front room. I don't know if you've really ever even seen this room. I guess you did in the home tour, but it's kind of just been like a catch-all for stuff that we didn't know where to put or stuff that like, we used to have a cabinet in our old laundry room. We don't have that cabinet anymore. All this stuff was in there. So we need to find a new place for that. And then I kind of need to load this back up with a bunch of stuff because this is a major storage piece in our house. This is where a lot of the stuff from the boxes in the dining room belongs. So I need to go through it, declutter, and then organize it back in there. And this guy needs to organize the new tool, caddy, what do you call it, toolbox? Yeah, tool tote. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is a tool tote, you're totally right. room is looking a lot better but it's because a lot of the stuff that was in this room doesn't actually belong in this room and I kind of just moved the piles and the boxes to where they need to be put away so this is this is not an after I mean this is this was the before but this is not necessarily the after if you know what I mean there is still a lot to be done and there's a few things that I want to show you I mean it does look a whole lot better but um, I meant to show you guys this after we went to Disneyland last time when we went to Club 33 that was like a big moment and they had a lot of like exclusive like Club 33 
merch and stuff that you could buy and we bought this ornament because we decided we wanted to be ornament people like we tried to collect magnets at all the places that we went before and then we kept forgetting so now we're trying to get special ornaments whenever we go to new places and this is the one that we got at club 33 and we're pretty sure that this is the exact table that we ate at at club 33 so that's really cool and it's like a double-sided thing this is like a gigantic ornament like i don't know how the tree would actually sustain this ornament but it's just really cool and it was just like a cool moment to remember and i've left this out because i keep intending to show you and then i always forget and i was asking grant where we should put it where we should store it and he's like i think we should have it out like as a decor item so where do you think it should go do we need a glass case with a spotlight yeah what happened to our little uh, cake holder thing oh <laughs> Yeah, I guess we could put it there. Can... You could, we could put it in the bedroom on the bookcase. In the bedroom. <laughs> Set the mood. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we're at. <laughs> some of you guys might remember some of this collection, and this isn't even all of it, but I do still have tons of VHS tapes and DVDs and CDs, like multiple copies of my best friend's wedding on VHS. <laughs> like, honestly, part of me just wanted to show you guys this so some of you guys would scream in the comments and tell me I need to throw this stuff away because I'm definitely not throwing it away. <laughs> Okay, at this point, the sun has gone down. I've made a lot of progress in this room. It's definitely looking a whole lot better, but as you can see, there's definitely still some outstanding items to deal with, but I feel like I've stirred up so much dust and I ran the Roomba and emptied it and it, it was so full of dust. It was absolutely horrible. So whenever I emptied it out, like I feel like it activated some allergy stuff. And so I'm just feeling like, dirty and like sneezy and it's bad. So I just really wanna stop, but I was gonna show you my progress, even though it's not anything like stunning. I just wanna show you that this thing is no longer empty. It has what it had in it before, except, you know, I weeded out some stuff, but really not a lot. I just wanted to get the boxes out of the way. Over here, we have technology stuff, camera stuff, more empty space. Uh, this one is completely empty here. This is all Luna stuff. We have extra treats. We have leashes and poop bags and more leashes and collars, some travel stuff and a big toy. Down here we have even more Luna stuff. We have her outfits and accessories and Halloween costumes. Ooh, we need some brightness here. Uh oh, Luna's getting interested. Then down here we have travel stuff and we have her cone if we ever need it again. And then over here in the middle section, it's really hard to open Ugh. and that's okay because it's full of a lot of stuff that is literally never used i know probably a lot of you guys are screaming at me right now but just calm down it's okay up here we have a bunch of dvds blu-rays and vhs down here a lot more dvds and then some audiobooks so in here i also wanted to put these which for some reason i do not have the heart to get rid of these i'm not sure if i've showed you these before they are a bunch of framed photos of me i know this is like the weirdest thing to actually have in your house but I did not make these. Uh, whenever I finally left the last job that I had in Houston, they kind of made like a shrine on my desk and printed out all of these goofy pictures of me and put them on my desk and we like, you know, had snacks and it was a whole ceremonious thing. And this is the first time I decided to do, I think it's crow pose. I think I just learned how to do it and I wanted to show everyone. And I think they put some like padding right there in case I fell on my face. Yeah, that's that's the amount of confidence they had in me. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. These are just like fun memories and I don't know, I don't wanna get rid of them. I should probably 
donate all of these frames and then just take the pictures out. That's what I should do. That is what I will do. Excuse me, Lou. <laughs> that is what I will do in the very near future, but will I do it today? No, I will not. Look at this one. Look at how cute this is. Georgetta actually edited this one. Can you see our halos? We're so cute, huh? Okay, in the very last cabinet, we have a bunch of extra candles, and then down here, it's wires and chargers and portable chargers and stuff like that. And then, I don't know, I just need to find a place for the rest of this stuff, and I'm gonna take this scrawny little tripod with me. Come on, Luna Bean. Let's go. Do you wanna bring that guy? Do you wanna bring this sloth guy? Are you being protective? She's being protective. Let me have him, let me have him. Okay, we'll bring him out. Here, let's put that, come on. I actually really wish I could teach her how to put her toys up. I don't know if that's just a dream. It probably is. While I was toiling away in that room, Grant prepared a wonderful dinner and I'm so, so hungry. I made the salad, but honestly, that took like two seconds. What would you call this, Grant? Chicken and noodles? Uh, chicken and noodles. <laughs> it's really good. This is Grant's specialty. You've probably seen it before if you've been watching the vlogs for a while. It's a classic. It's a classic. classic. That was unbelievable!